Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful day. Still Christmas here, um, pretty much, basically, kind of Christmas times. Merry Christmas to all of you again. Um, the previous video was about the, uh, what was it about? Uh, static and non-static functions, the difference between those and uh, those within class and stuff. So please check that out. If you haven't yet, also check out the description box. You got a bunch of useful stuff down there. Um, follow me on Twitter, Discord, support page, all that stuff. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Also, uh, to just name it again, um, state it again, I have a new mic now. I have the, the Blue Yeti, the big one. Um, and um, I hope the quality is okay. It's probably a little low, so you probably want to increase your volume because I haven't started actually using or kind of increasing the volumes of my videos, but I will eventually promise once I get a, a good good way to do that um, anyway today is about deep copy versus shallow copy so it's gonna be kind of a mini series within this series where I'm gonna show you how to work with the copy constructor of a class and it's really important but let me just show you today what deep copy versus shallow copy is so a shallow copy let's create two integers here int and uh, num one equals 10 and num2 equals 20 and I'm just gonna go ahead and say um, num1 equals num2 and then I'm gonna say C out num1 new line pretty much this is a what a shallow copy is it's just a direct equals to between two variables okay but in this case it doesn't matter it will work why will it work because these aren't dynamic variables these aren't these are static variables okay they aren't governed by uh, governed by pointers okay there's no new there's new no dynamic memory allocation uh, or anything like that so the way memory works is when you just create these static variables the c++ the compiler or the computer puts them into the uh into the uh, static memory part right just wherever the static memory is so the stack it's called the stack and there all these static variables are and they will exist until the end of the scope but if you create a pointer and you allocate memory with new there's nothing to stop you to delete this variable before the end of the scope so it it the computer knows that and it puts it in the heap instead so there's another part of the memory where dynamic memory is stored so in this part the pointer will still be in the static memory but it will kind of point to like a little arrow to some area some little block in the heap dynamic memory where this variable will be so to give you an example uh, i hope you watch the pointer examples and stuff uh, because those are really important let's create an int int ptr okay we'll just call it int ptr and we'll say that it points to num1 um, the address of num1. Okay, remember pointers don't hold the number itself. It holds the address to they hold the address to the variable you're pointing to. So what happens here? Both of these variables, the pointer and the num1, are in the stack. So the pointer is kind of. Let me just show you how that works. So if we have a little, if we have the stack here and we have the heap here, and they're kind of working together, right? You got a bunch of blocks in here. Okay, let me just create four blocks in each. There is nothing in the heap right now. There's nothing. Our num1 is up here in, at some address here. Um, x something something. And our pointer say that it's at another address here. But this is the int ptr. And remember, this number is, is storing a, a number. What was it storing? Let's say it was storing 20. I don't know what it's storing. 10. It doesn't really matter. Say it's storing 20. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, or it does for me. I'm, I got OCD. Anyway, num1 is storing 10. So what happens when I just did that? Int pointer equals to the address of num1. Basically, it's holding x213, right? And in that way, when you access the pointer, you'll actually print out the address to it. But if you dereference it, it will go to the address it's holding and it will get the value it's holding. Okay, so you can imagine a little arrow going like this to num1 to the address of num1 like that just imagine it and then you can access the 10 through there as well um, what happens in dynamic memory is that 
if I create, if I do this, if I say int um, int pointer two, int pointer d for dynamic, d for dynamic, right? Easy peasy equals new int thirty. What happens then? We're not actually pointing this to a already existing uh, variable. We're actually assigning new memory to this pointer. So this pointer is the sole owner of this uh, new memory. But if you remove int pointer, the memory won't be removed. So that means it's not really static. So it's, it's really dynamic. So there you can get memory leaks because you can miss removing this data here. And you'll, you'll still, the int pointer will be gone. So the pointer itself. So to visualize that, int pointer will now be pointing to some address in the heap. Okay, now this is a rehash of the um, memory tutorial, pointer tutorial, basically. But still, say this is some, some other address in the heap. Okay, now it will be assigned this address, six, five, six, but there is no variable in here. It's just a, a spot in, in the heap where a 30 is stored, an integer with the value 30 is stored. And in pointer is holding that address for you. So it's like you, you remember, in pointer remembers where in the heap this data is and you can access it through in pointer. But if you would cut this line, if you would remove this point, pointer for example by saying afterwards int point int pointer d equals null like that or null pointer this this data here will still be in the heap there is nothing to remove that except when the program terminates but there is nothing to remove that so it's it's really important to keep this link here always remember that and that is basically what deep copying and shallow copying means because if I did this, now we're back to this, okay? And, or this is in pointer D actually, in pointer D, it should say in pointer D here. So just to visualize this, we might have uh, int pointer up here, pointer up here, okay? And set some other ad address, whatever, um, something like that. And it is holding X213. And to visualize that, we're gonna create a little arrow up here. Okay, so is you're visualizing this, right? So this is how it is. And this is the stack, 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 I don't know what the hell that is, uh, stack. And this is the heap. Okay, so it's holding this and the uh, in pointer is uh, pointing up here. Anyway, uh, to keep going, what, I, what is gonna happen if I say int pointer equals int pointer D? Remember, Remember again that these two are the same. The, th the same thing is happening. You're basically just assigning two things and assigning two, another number to another number. And remember that in pointers are just holders of addresses. Okay. It's just a regular variable. It's just that it's holding an address to a memory location. So this address in in pointer D is going to be copied into directly in pointer, the, the other in pointer. Okay. And what happens then? What happens when, uh, which way was int pointer becomes int pointer D. Okay, so int pointer becomes, copies the value of int pointer D. And what is int pointer D holding? Not, not the value 30. It's holding the address to where value 30 is stored. So the address is going to be copied into int pointer here. Okay, now int pointer is going to be holding the same address, x656. And this is going to be terminated this link to the number one in stack. And that's fine because number one already has its own name variable, which it can remove by itself. It's still in the stack, so it doesn't really matter, but it would be more dangerous doing it the other way around, giving int pointer D the address five or 213 here and killing this link that will create a memory leak in the heap. So that is shallow copy. When you don't think about the links to the heaps and how, what is keeping, uh, what is the, uh, keeping the address of what in the heap. Okay, so this, the other way around, would create an, a memory leak, int pointer. Or if you would point this to something else, but this is basically a shallow copy, when you're copying two pointers into each other, giving them the other one's address. That's not what you wanna do, okay? A deep copy, on the other hand, would be, now if we created, instead of doing this, if we create two new ints, new int, 
40 here. Or 50. Okay. 50 like this. A deep copy is to think about the link. Okay. And I'll say in pointer 1, in pointer 2 now. We won't really use this image anymore. Now, this video is going to be a little longer than usual. But I really want to explain what's going on. So, the thing is, the, we have two dynamically created variables here. And very important thing to do before you're working with these, if you're creating an application, is to remember what's happening here. You're creating new memory. That means you need to delete old memory, right? At the end of the program, int pointer 1, delete int pointer 2. All right, so just remember that. So this is just cleaning up. Uh, anyway, for, to back to deep copying. So shallow copy is int pointer 1 equals int pointer 2. Okay, that's a shallow copy. Now, we don't want to do this because it's going to create a memory leak. Creates memory leak. Okay, something like that. We'll just make sure you know that. And then we'll have a deep copy. Okay, and this is safe. This is a safe copy. Um, and what we're going to do now, say that we want to give in pointer 1 the same value where of in pointer 2, right? That's what we want to do. All right, we want to do that. So instead of doing int pointer 1 equals int pointer 2, which would just trade addresses, what you want to do in this easy case is just say dereference those. So int pointer 1 will go in to where whatever is holding in the heap. And in, say that int pointer 2 is here. It's holding 50 up here in the heap as well. Like that. Just, just imagine that. Uh, and instead of trading addresses, we're going to dereference them. Go into where they are in the heap. And we're going to trade values. So this, this is not going to be terminated. The link is not going to be terminated to the heap. You're just going to be trading values here. Okay. So say there's a 50 here. So this is going to become, we're not trading really. It was just going to assign the one to the other one. So which one, which order? So in pointer one, which is 50 will become uh, whatever in pointer two is. Now this is a very simple deep copy. In this case, the most hazardous way for doing a shallow copies when you're working with arrays and we're going to get into that in the next video most probably uh, because this video is kind of long but when you have arrays this gets a lot trickier okay especially when you're going to deep copy anything with pointers you need to remember to do this but the the, the sole thing is that a regular copy constructor in a class a regular one the one supplied by c++ when you don't specify anything because when we create a class for example dice we didn't create a copy constructor here but there exists one in the background okay there does exist one and what it does it, it shallow copies everything it doesn't give a damn about anything okay it doesn't care about anybody's lives no women no children nothing it just goes ahead and does this to everything including pointers and you see what the problem is is that it will shallow copy pointers and just trade addresses like this so that it will it will be like this. There will be a bunch of memory leaks, a bunch of problems everywhere for each pointers in a class. So if you don't have pointers in a class, you don't have to care about the copy constructor really, unless you wanted to do something specific. Okay, but if you start working with dynamic memory in classes, always remember to have a copy constructor and an assignment operator overloaded. And we'll talk about these things in the coming videos, but please remember that. And I know I went to great lengths to show you a very simple deep copy thing, but it's that's the thing, the devil's in the details. If you forget the dereferencing, you'll get a memory leak. If you don't forget it, you won't get a memory leak. So easy peasy, right? No problems. So just remember that and don't remember, don't forget to uh, delete your new, anything you create with new. Um, so you go, I got a little passionate, I'm sorry. Uh, but there you go. That's that's pretty much the beginning of this mini series. Next video, we're going to create a class and a copy constructor, and I'm going to keep explaining how this problem will uh, will exist, okay? And what you can do to solve it. So remember, most important for arrays in classes. That's why you create uh, copy constructors and the deep copying and all that stuff. But thank you for watching. Check out the description box. 
bunch of useful links down there, uh, all kinds of stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Discord, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and take care. Merry Christmas again. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.